uh, well, technically the sequence in the barn, which was an actual barn as well, was more spacious. Um, one of the things that I find so much more interesting and, and creepy is more about what you don't see rather than you do. So even though we did technically have a larger space, we tried to create a lot of set dressing and, and uh, obstacles. So it was always about what the characters and, uh, and the audience cannot see. Um, so even though from a technical perspective this was easier than some of the other sequences, we're about to throw uh, Abby Cornish and this young girl under a tarp with myself and our cinematographer putting us in probably one of the smallest, most uncomfortable filming locations possible. Um, you know, this was also quite tricky. I mean, we really want to embrace the idea of as many of the effects happening in camera as possible, whether it's the car crash sequence earlier or this uh, transitional sequence that's about to happen, because I think there's something just quite elegant and simple and fun about just classic sleight of hand and um as we be, are able to transition from under being under this uh childish sort of uh, fort slash tent to um abbey corner suddenly being transported into the middle of a cornfield um definitely sort of i think inspired a little bit by some early michelle gondry music videos but uh, uh the effect we sort of found quite simple but striking nonetheless the thing we really wanted to play with was the idea of uh, moments that were traditionally creepy and save for evenings being much more beautiful, lush, green daytime palette. So as much as possible, we wanted to create a sense of fear and dread in otherwise uh, very inviting locations.